Hi, this is Eric Yates, and I'd like to walk you through the steps for making a PDF file appear on your teacher web page. I'm going to use this health education website as an example uh, because we've got precisely what we're talking about going on here. So let's say that you've got a newsletter and you typed it in Word, you saved it as a PDF file so anybody with a computer online could open it. You might make a link to it like this. Well, that's fine, it works, and uh, you know, you could get by, but it's not all that attractive. Wouldn't you really like to see the entire PDF show up when a person clicks on the link in the contents area? Something like this, maybe. And then you can, of course, also give the person an option to open the document in its own window there. This might work best for a lot of newsletters. So let's see how to do this, because there are a fair number of steps. Obviously, you're going to have to be in your uh, uh, Schoolwire Site Manager home section, that's here. Now I'm going to need to create a new page, but before I do that, I need to think about the content I'm going to put there. I have a PDF file on my H drive that I need to get into my Schoolwire's files and folders area. So I've clicked on the Tools tab in my Site Manager area, and now I'm going to click on Files and Folders. This is going to allow me to upload the file I want. And there's a button that says Upload. I'm going to click that. And look, I can grab a couple files at a time, up to five. That's a good idea, actually. So I'm going to browse for my first file, and I'm going to have to go into my H drive. And what am I looking for? I'm looking for some of those health profiles. There we go. Second grade, I'm going to need that one. So put that in there. Let me browse for the other one while I'm at it. Let me get the third grade and put those two in. Great. I'm going to click the next button, wait for them to get uploaded. Yay, they're successfully uploaded. Let's finish with that process. So now I've got these two in my files and folders area. Wonderful. I can now close this window. So I've got the content I want in a place that I want. Let me go back to the home section so I can see my pages. <clears throat> Excuse me. So uh, I need a new page, and it's going to have to be a flex page. That's the blank page sort of in the middle of the list. And I want this to be the curriculum profile for second grade. Okay. Now, um, normally we choose blank for a flex page, but we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to select iframe and portrait okay that then we're going to click save now iframe allows us to put interesting content like pdf files on a web page so there's my page the curriculum profile for second grade now this is where it gets a little techy so hang in there you can do it it's not hard we just have to uh, work through a few extra steps here all right now you can't really see it but if i click I've got a little border here of what's called the iframe. This is where content is going to go. Well, what content? I need that PDF file. I need to be able to tell the computer at the web page where to look for it. So I'm going to temporarily go back to the tools section. Files and folders is what I want. And I'm going to look for the profile. There it is. That's the PDF profile. And there's a button here that says URL. That's going to give me the address, the web address of the page, and I'm going to need that in a minute. All I'm going to do is click one time on the full URL, and look, I get a nice little message that says, hey, it was added to the clipboard. Don't have to worry about Control C, Control V, any of that stuff. I close that window. And here we go. Let's have some fun. View HTML. I'm going to click that, and I get a neat little window, and this is showing me the programming code for this page. Don't worry, it's not hard. We can do it. There's a spot here that says a href equal sign, and there are two quotation marks real close to each other. Click exactly between them. Okay, my cursor is flashing between those, those quotation marks. Now I'm going to paste that long web address for my PDF file in there, and that's control V. And look at that. It went right in. Now I have to do this in one more spot where it says SRC equals quotation mark, quotation mark. Again, click right between, control V, ta da, there it is. And I can click OK and watch the magic. Wow, look at that. It's a second grade curriculum profile. I'm going to click the save button. My page is active, successful save. Fabulous. Now, what does that look like when I go to the page? I'm going to go uh, back to the page here. Now, I haven't 
refreshed it yet, so I have to use that refresh button at the end of the address bar. It's the swirling green arrows in uh, Internet Explorer 7. So I've refreshed the page. Now in my contents area, I've got the curriculum profile for second grade link. If I click it, here's what I'm going to get. A window with the PDF document showing. Wonderful. This is a great way to display your newsletters if you want parents to immediately see all the fabulous artwork, clip art, photographs that you put into a newsletter. I hope it works as easily for you as it did for me. Thanks uh, very much to uh, Dan Pollard in the tech department, our school wires guru who set that up for us and gave us the opportunity to, to do this. If you have any questions, please contact me and I'll do my best to help walk you through it.